Hey guys, this is my 1971 Ford Econoline Balboa. Take a ride with me and I'll show you a little bit more. A little walk around, you'll see the fiberglass part was just painted with a marine epoxy paint, all new running lights. The front of the cab has no rust on it. The vehicle is extremely clean. We also removed these big windows and resealed them, and new vent fans and vent covers. Come on inside. Entering through the rear door, you'll see we have a bathroom here. We have a fan, a new vent cover. We have a shower, sink, and toilet. This is kind of also a surfboard closet, or whatever else you want it to be. But it all works. We have a butcher block countertop. There's our upper cabinets. The cabinets are all insulated as well as underneath the van is all insulated and in the walls. We have a three burner stove and an oven. This equipment runs on a propane tank, which is outside the vehicle mounted underneath. A three-way refrigerator. Plenty of storage in the Balboa. This is a drawer for some utensils and cooking supplies. Here's our water pump. The vehicle has a 40 gallon water tank and is equipped with a hot water heater, hot and cold water. We have an upper bunk area with a cushion so you can sleep up there and a new vent fan. We also installed this Dometic fan, which is incredible. It has a thermostat on it and works automatically. We have all LED lights throughout the camper area. Here's your stereo equipment, which is all installed. Kind of cool here, we have the speaker above the driver. On a toggle switch, which allows you to select whether or not you want that noise. It's kind of hard to hear when you're talking and driving, so it's nice to be able to turn that off. The stereo is Bluetooth wireless, USB ports, and auxiliary ports. We also set the radio so that the radio operates on a toggle switch with the battery so that you can listen to the radio while you're chilling at the beach or camping without having the car on. Uh, really nice up front here, 89,000 miles on the Ford van. It uh, recently received a 302 crate engine installation and the engine has about 20 miles on it, it's brand new. This engine has a three year transferable nationwide warranty by Napa Ironclad Engines. Now look at our control unit here with the auxiliary battery, fuse boxes, stuff like that, your cord to plug into the outside outlets. Uh, this is a voltage meter, shows you how much juice you have in your auxiliary battery and allows you to plug in any USB or uh, cigarette lighter charger adapter appliances, stuff like that. Uh, there's a little trickle charger here with the solar panel so you can keep your battery topped off. Over here is the uh, 40 gallon fresh water tank, a cover for the stove, and there's a hot water heater and water pump under there. There's plenty of storage space in the Balboa motorhome. In this rear cabinet, we have the original curtains. They're kind of tattered and worn, but it'd be great for a template for the new curtains that you could install. This is a duotherm propane heater. To get an idea of all the bedding, here's an area with new upholstery. Shows you how many spots there are you could sleep. Right on guys, thanks for checking out my 1971 Ford Balboa Motorhome. If anybody wants to ask any questions or send me any comments or feedback, I can be reached on Instagram at Freedom Vessel.